All right, so let's see if we can't achieve uh, this little shelf here. Um, what I'm going to do is just create a sketch um, on this plane. Go to rectangle, origin. I'm going to get 12 inches deep. By, I'll just do 12 inches wide for right now. I'm going to extrude it. Just go 0.25. So that can be, I'm, my goal here is just to do half of it and then mirror it over. So let's see if we can't uh, create another sketch. We're gonna go off of this plane. Actually stop sketch. We want that to be the mid plane. So we'll construct mid plane, that face. That face, it gives us our mid plane. Okay. Now we're going to create a sketch on that plane. And we're going to actually go S for shortcut. Do it like that. Let's see if I can't. I, I don't want it like that though. I'll go here. Make it 24 inches. Make that a construction line. And then I'll do my S shortcut. Um, just do a regular rectangle. Now let's do center point. Again, we'll do 12 and do I do 12 or 24? I'm not sure, but we'll do that. And we'll go extrude a U. We're going to do. Um, Symmetric and distance 0.25. Okay, so now what I want to do is actually um, create some 3D sketches. Yeah. So let's go like that, and then we're going to go off of this plane and go over here and click 3D sketch, and then we'll go. Um, if I want, I'm going to try an arc, do a three point arc. It's not going to let me off of that. There we go. So, on that one, when this flips over, I want that to become this back side. Gonna let me let's just throw that out there and see. I go coincident U to U. There. We'll see. White as Let's go ahead and delete that and try this again. Sketch an arc. Let's see if we can't do a tangent arc. From there. Let me do something. I 
I wonder if I just do a line. Let's try it and see. Go back to there, to there. Stop sketch. <laughs> so now if we if we create a I wonder what the difference, I wonder if we could do a sweep of this profile along this path. Okay, so that's not going to um, the guide rail. No, I'm gonna try the loft. Create loft, view over to you um, huh. Definitely gives the, the funkiness to it. Bingo. Okay. So there you go. Um, what do we got here? We've got. I created my two. My two fixed. Planes essentially um, just extruded some sort of some bodies to use as my fixed points, and then created a loft using this um, 3D sketch line as my guide rail. Um, I don't know. We can change some of these. See if they make a difference. Connected. Actually, connected looks like it's it's not what we want. Tangent looks pretty good. Let's see what the curvature one is. Uh, yeah, so one of those. But and there you go, you've got that. So I'll just go OK. Uh, it looks to me like we've still got, okay, we've got one body. And now we're going to go ahead and um, let's mirror it. Body that mirror plane. Go ahead and go with do that face. Okay. Um, now we can let's combine you with you. Okay. And then we'll see if we can't stretch this out through parameters. Was the second one? Nope. So we can go shelf depth twelve. Uh, that was my that was my offset 
Um, let's just go twist length. Not 30. changing. It should be changing the length. Oh, but it's also go here. Thick. Of that loft. Good. So there you go. I think that's a pretty good representation of um, the shelf here. And you can play with the settings a little bit. I'll post this file up and hope it helps.